though? Did you get to watch last night? Any of it? I actually did, um, and it's fun to watch. I thought, you know, Coach Kelly, they, they uh, called a good game plan, and it was fun to watch. Was it? How familiar was it to see on screen? Um, I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I, it was pretty similar, but I, at the same time, I'm sure they have a lot of different concepts and, and all that. But, um, you know, they, the way that they, they ran the offense and the way Michael Vick was running it, it was pretty fun to watch. You think you can take Vick in a race somewhere? <laughs> I don't know about that one. He's a, he's a pretty fast dude. When, when you look at what uh, what Chip did last night, um, and you watch the places you kind of see things, and be like, hey, that was me last year. <laughs> uh, not necessarily. Um, I was more like watching uh, LaShawn McCoy do his thing, and like that's DeAnthony, you know, in the NFL. And um, that's it's like I said, it's cool to watch. Um, a lot of that stuff was was relatively similar, and you know, they and like I said, it was just kind of exciting. Did you get together with some teammates to watch? Or I we're like in the like right in between meetings, so a lot of us were able to watch it at dinner, and uh, it was pretty cool. Mark, I feel a little cheap as asking you this, but you know we're so used to you having a high completion, rate, mm -hmm. and you have it so far. What, what's your analysis of your completion rates? I oh, know, yeah, you're definitely right, and that's something that I, you know I'm looking to work on. Um, you know, I just develop in a rhythm. Um, you know, early in games, uh, there's times where. Um, especially kind of early in these first two games that I was missing. And, um, you know, I just got to get in the rhythm because, I mean, uh, as the game went on, I kind of, you know, kind of found a rhythm and, um, you know, the offense started moving a little better. And uh, it's just stuff that, you know, I can work on in practice. Um, and it's, we have been, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking to, to just better the, this next game. What goes into establishing a rhythm? Um, it's, it's, for me, I, I kind of, it's funny, I, I kind of said this a couple times with Coach Frost. I'm, I'm like a shooter in basketball. Like you got to see the, a shooter always has to see the ball go in the, the net. And for me, I got to see a guy. I got to see the receivers catch the ball. And you know, that's you know, and make sure that I'm throwing it, you know, where they need it to be, and, and make sure that it's an accurate pass. And you know, once you get three or four of those down, then you kind of feel in the rhythm. So maybe start the game off with a high percentage pass. I mean, it, it's for me, it's just making sure that I make the right read and complete the ball. You know, that's that's all. It, that's all I really have to do, and just mainly just execute. Talk about the depth of your back. Three guys that can carry the ball and carry the ball well. How much does that make? Does that make your job back? Right? Oh, you know, to have have three guys that can can uh, you know take the ball and gain you know eight, nine, ten yards at a time. That's huge for our offense. And you know that like I was saying earlier, that builds rhythm and that that makes you know our offense pretty dynamic. And it's exciting to have those three in the backfield. They're they're big and athletic guys, um, typical of an SEC defense, and um, you know they're gonna come out and play hard. You know they've they've created uh, six or seven turnovers in the past uh, their last game against Western Kentucky, and you know that's something that we, we really gotta focus on is making sure we take care of the ball. Now, Jake was talking to you guys yesterday about Tennessee used to be in the national powers. Yeah, I mean, they were that way when you were probably young too. Do you still view them like that even though the bets are down you? Oh yeah, for sure. They're, they the the amount of tradition that that school has, um, you know, and the amount of pride that they're going to play with, just because they, you know, they play for Tennessee, um, you know, they're they're going to come out and play hard, and you know, that's what we expect.